My friends, it was a pretty clear unanimous decision across the board that I should watch the second Terminator movie, which we are obviously going to do today. Whether or not I should watch more of the films after this seemed pretty divided on feedback from you guys. Some of you said none of them past this point are worth it. Some of you said the third one can tie up some loose end questions that I had in the first one. Some of you suggested the TV series, the Sarah Connor Chronicles, which I may watch in, in the future when I have free time to pick a new show, because that actually seems like it could be some quality material. So maybe. But the decision about watching Terminator 2 seemed absolutely absolutely agreed upon. <laughs> and who am I to say no? <laughs> I asked you for your input and you gave it to me and it would be wrong if I didn't follow the advice. <laughs> and as a sort of announcement, in the month of October, we're going to be watching entirely horror movies. Uh, I'm very excited about that fact. <laughs> I love horror movies. But on top of that, I'm going to be doing two movies a week. So on every Friday, I'll be reacting to newer horror horror releases. Netflix has some pretty good looking new horror movies coming out all month. So those, some of those are on the list. And then every Sunday we're going to do classic horror. I do have a list already set aside as a schedule for myself. However, if you guys want to give me recommendations, I might pick something from the recommendations if something is popular opinion that I should watch it. I do want to throw out there that I've seen a lot of horror movies <laughs> and I don't necessarily want to watch anything that I've already seen because that doesn't seem like a super fun reaction. So if I don't pick it, please don't be offended. It's probably just that I've already seen it. But feel free to leave recommendations in the comments. And, you know, if if one movie seems like it's really standing out and I haven't seen it yet, I might just throw it on the list for you guys. Who knows? <laughs> Let's get into talking about the movie for today, <laughs> which is Terminator 2. I did choose what I believe is the theatrical cut. It wasn't super agreed upon about which version I should watch. This is the one that I ended up going with because it seemed to have the majority consensus behind it. I don't know, and I'm sorry if, if that's disappointing, but I had to pick one. Outside of that, what I am going in understanding is that this is much more of an action movie. So I'm expecting action. And <laughs> I did also see quite a lot of arguments about how this is one of those rare sequences where the second film is better than the first. And not many movies can say that. I'm pretty sure like The Godfather and Alien, the Alien franchise are the two big ones where people often argue that the second one is better than the first. So this, I guess, is another example of that. I'm excited to see if I feel that way or not. And I'm hoping for some more badass Arnold. My fingers are crossed that I will, on the down low, be rooting for him. <laughs> or at least able to enjoy his coolness. I think I've talked enough. Let's get into it. Thank you for being a friend. At the war, just like the first one started, I wonder how the rest of it's going to go. Is it going to time travel again? The survivors of the nuclear fire called the war Judgment Day. They lived only to face a new nightmare against the machines. F. <laughs> Already a thousand times better. Look at that. But I'm immediately back into it. You know what I want to appreciate really fast is that the setup of this war, the way the world looks, the way the cyborgs look, and the way that the humans look even in their kind of war garb is very similar to the first one. So it's like, yes, the budget might have been increased, but we're still keeping the concept alive and similar, which I appreciate a lot. The computer which controlled the machine sent two Terminators back through time. Their mission to destroy the leader of the human resistance, John Connor, my son. Sarah! First Terminator was programmed to strike at me. The second was set to strike at John himself when he was still a child. So we are gonna go back in time. Mm. They said, here's money, James Cameron, and he said, set it all on fire. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. He looks so much cooler. I like them doing the same opening as the first one. We had the wind blow the trash and the lightning, and we're doing it again. Psych, this is really a movie about evil semis. Are we gonna go full frontal again, James Cameron? 
Ooh, this looks much better too. But I love that they kept things aesthetically the same. <laughs> Music. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> Forgot to say, please. <gasps> A bold move. <laughs> oh, 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 F. Stop, stop, stop. Get off of it. Stop it. Take it. <laughs> All right, immediately he is cool. Can't let you take the man's wheels, son. Sir, did you not see anything that just happened? Ah, oh, yes, the sunglasses. Undeniably so cool. I will say that this is a clear difference between our last Terminator, wherein that Terminator said, I'm killing each and every one of you that I come into contact with because I don't care and it's what I do. And this one, he's obviously letting people live and dare I say, it makes him much more cool. There's something very badass about walking up to that man, grabbing his gun, taking his sunglasses and slowly walking away. I love it. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> Wait a hot damn second. Is this the Terminator? Is Arnold not the Terminator? Oh, he's dressing up as the cop. Ooh, shady. Look at that mullet. John. John, you're gonna be the savior of the human race. <laughs> Where I have had it with that goddamn kid. Let me move. Would you get off your butt and help me? Can you put them in their place. Yes, ma'am. Oh, it's an emergency. Hang on, I'll get right on it. Well, if you wouldn't spend all of your time ignoring her, she wouldn't have to have an attitude. <laughs> Come on, get your ass inside. Do what your mother tells you. Not my mother, Todd. Where's Sarah? <sighs> Is this our badass lady? I've been following the case for years. Is that the therapist from the first one? I'm losing my mind. Okay. Morning, Sarah. How's the knee? She uh, stabbed me in the kneecap with my pen a few weeks ago. <laughs> Good for her. That her? Oh. Pretty cool, huh? No, she's a complete psycho. She tried to blow up the computer factory. Is that the guy from American History X? You said that if I showed improvement after six months, it would transfer me to the minimum security wing. I could have visitors. They could escape. <laughs> Mr. Dyson. Yes. Materials team is running another series this afternoon. And where are we right now? No what? Well, if you know where it came from. Okay, quick prediction. They did find the robot cyborg shell, and it is in this place. Is that just a shrapnel of the Terminator's body? Do we have multiple pieces? <gasps> we do. Ooh, you mean there's some shady corporate shit happening? <laughs> and I think you're just telling me what I want to hear. I don't think you really believe what you're telling me today. What a dog shit person. If I could just make a phone call. Afraid not. Model citizen. All right, Mr. Scumbag, sir. <laughs> I'm fully hoping he gets what he deserves. Or at least she gets to stab his other kneecap. Hey, do you know this <gasps> guy? Nah, I don't know. Good for you. Man, there's this cop scoping for you. Check it out. Split, man. Just go. As a good friend. Get down. <laughs> Who's the better Terminator? It's Arnold. <laughs> They're both too strong to play that game. That's funny. Why is Arnold Terminator going against the other Terminator? Why did he tell the kid to get down? Why is he on the kid's side? What's happening? I want answers for everything. I know they're coming, but I just, this is not what I was anticipating. Oh my God. So fast. 
Jeez Louise. <gasps> ah. 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 He said, ah. ah. <laughs> Semi truck V bike. V Arnold on a motorcycle. <laughs> I don't know what you're slowing down for. No, he's super coming. That was fucking cool. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that's how physics works, but I also don't test drive semi trucks off of overpasses. That's so cool. <laughs> As we learned from the first one, that is not enough to kill him. Unless it is not a Terminator, then it might be enough. I don't know. Oh. Oh. He's not a Terminator, he's the Silver Surfer. <laughs> but you are a Terminator, right? Yes. Why aren't you terminating? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. You're not here to kill me. I figured that part out for myself. <laughs> My mission is to protect you. 35 years from now, you reprogrammed me to be your protector here. Oh, it's darling. <laughs> okay, so does this mean that our other Terminator, our baddie, our baddie villain man, this one, is an upgraded version of the Terminator? Because he's got like the steel kind of morphing bodysuit versus the cybernetic robot underneath? Silly guy, he's a Terminator like you, right? Not like me. Advanced prototype. That took two seconds to answer that question. <laughs> Todd and Janelle are dicks, but I gotta warn them. John, it's late. Honey, I was beginning to worry about you. Something's wrong. She's never this nice. What the hell is the goddamn dog barking at? <gasps> it's dog sense terminators. You're gonna tell the kid to get rid of that fucking mutt. God, he sucks. John. What's the dog's name? Max. What's wrong with Wolfie? Wolfie's fine, honey. What are you? Your foster parents are dead. Oh! I'm sorry, you're telling me that this Terminator can not only morph into people, he can morph swords out of his body? And also that line, your foster parents are dead. <laughs> of course, he's, you know, a cyborg, so emotions aren't a thing that he's concerned about conveying. <laughs> but what a way to find out. Like everything I've been brought to believe was all made of bullshit. Until now. But everything she said was true. There we go, okay. Listen, we gotta get her out of there. Negative. Not a mission priority. You will fuck you! She's a priority to me! Help! This does not help our help! mission. Help! <laughs> Let me go! Why the hell did you do that? Because you told me to. <laughs> oh, I love that we have like a buddy Arnold Terminator version. You have to do what I say, huh? Stand on one foot. <laughs> you okay, kid? Take a hike, Bozo. Fuck you, you little dipshit! Put your leg down. <laughs> Look cool. Put your foot down. <laughs> oh! Put the gun down now! We're gonna kill that guy! Of course. I'm a Terminator. <laughs> you just can't go around killing people. Why? What do you mean, why? Because you can't. Why? I love that they just turned the, like, age-old concept of a child asking why over and over and over again and parents, like, getting to the point of total exasperation where they're just like, because, because, that's the answer, because. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my mom and I order you to help me. Ooh. Oh no, and she's strapped in. What she oh she has a paper clip. She has a paper clip. We're okay. Miss Sarah, I'm so ready for you to be out of this fucking place. Kicking some ass. What are you doing? Don't be creepy. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm ready for you to die. What? Oh, that, oh. Hell yes. Beat the shit out of him. Yes. Make it painful, girl. <laughs> I really thought she was going to start skipping for a second. <laughs> 
Nice. Nice. There are 215 bones in the human body. That's one. Put up your hand and say, I swear I won't kill anyone. I swear I will not kill anyone. <laughs> it's so cute. Who knew I would be saying it's so cute watching this movie? Body. You son of a bitch! You shot me! <laughs> He'll live. But also, like, maybe never walk again. <laughs> Open the door. Open the door! Our badass bitch is here. <laughs> Dude, all she had to do was push you. Well, that sounds like a, a seal. The least alarming alarm I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. I love that line. Go! <gasps> Jeez Louise. That's so cool. <gasps> How does one defeat that? Oh, I hate it. Stay down. Yes! I'm just now like registering that we're teaming up one bad bitch with one cool Arnold and that's such a cool combination. I might actually get a little bit emotional if something happens to Arnold. Like if he sacrifices himself to save Sarah or John, which is not okay because if I learned anything from the first movie, it was that you don't form emotional connections. And look at me failing already. You cannot risk yourself even for me, do you understand? What's wrong with your eyes? <laughs> oh, he doesn't understand tears. I know what you're doing. Oh, and this time, instead of doing surgery on himself, he's doing surgery on a human to help them. That was just like the first movie. He's gonna rip it off? I love that. <laughs> I need to know how Skynet gets built. The main most directly responsible is Miles Bennett Dyson. <gasps> Oh, the guy we saw earlier. In a few months, he creates a revolutionary type of microprocessor. It becomes self-aware at 2.14 a.m. Eastern Time, August 29th. Is it possible to stop Dyson and thus stop the war? I'm assuming not, because if that were the case, then the Terminators wouldn't be here. I don't know. Time travel gets so confusing so quickly. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. A Gatling gun? Absolutely. She always plans ahead. So this must be where Sarah was like living when she traveled south in the first movie, right? Getting prepped. She was a doomsday prepper. <laughs> oh my God, look at how cool she is. Are you kidding me? Watching John with the machine. The Terminator would never stop. It would never leave him. Of all the would-be fathers who came and went over the years, the machine was the only one who measured up. Oh my God. Okay, I didn't come here expecting to be crying. Should meet you tomorrow. Mom! You decide. What? 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 Killing Dyson might actually prevent the war. I don't care! Haven't you figured out why you can't kill people? <laughs> Danny! Oh. Nobody fucking move! Get out of the way! Don't hurt him! It's all your fault! Motherfucker, it's all your fault! She was too late! <laughs> Sarah has essentially become her own version of a Terminator when she was going after that guy to kill him. And while I wish in some part that she had killed him because it could potentially prevent the future war, I also admire the fact that she didn't because she has humanity. And so we get to really kind of observe and unpack the concept of humanity and humans versus machine. Who are you people? Sean. Oh, he's going to show them that he is a cyborg. I see. 
Oh, it's so gross. So now he has reason to actually believe them. Okay. Dyson listened while the Terminator laid it all down. The history of things to come. Huh, that's a good line. Fucking men like you built the hydrogen bomb. I think you're so creative. And destruction. Mom! He's like, Mom, not another one of your feminist rants at the dinner table. <laughs> the chip. Do you know about the chip? What chip? The CPU from the first Terminator. It was smashed. It didn't work, but it gave us ideas, took us in new directions. The Terminator and Reese get sent back in order to stop the war. But because of the fact that they got sent back is how the war even happens in the first place. Because without the Terminator having been there to have pieces to study and create this radical new technology, we would have never advanced to this point of essentially creating the war. Dyson, now you know the rules concerning visitors in the lab. I insist. Wouldn't Dyson know that there's another cop on duty? Maybe that's his plan. The silent alarm's been tripped. Let me try mine. <laughs> That'll do it. Look at him go. We got Skynet by the balls now, don't we? <gasps> oh no! Oh. Oh. Shit, she's in the clean room. There's no way out of there. He'll make a way. Stay here. I'll be back. He said it again! Oh yeah, the effects in this movie, so much better. Okay, that's genius, because in the first one he says I'll be back and he comes back with a car and he did it again. There's been so many throwbacks in this movie to the first one. Get out. But that was just like in the first one with the semi and Arnold getting in the semi telling the guy to get out. Popper's coming in! It's him. I'm also appreciating the chase sequences a lot more because they really upped the ante. We had a semi versus a dirt bike. We had a car versus a sprinting Terminator. <laughs> and now we have a van versus a helicopter. That's way more exciting to watch. Ah! Oh my. Well, at least now we're down by a helicopter. And a van. Okay. You are right on. Wait, 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 wait. Liquid nitrogen as in like freezing, right? As in cold enough to turn something into a block of ice that could then be shattered into a million pieces? As in that's how we beat the Terminator? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yep, it's broken open. <gasps> It's, it's certainly not over yet, though. James Cameron, you will not do me like that again. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> we don't have much time. Son of a biscuit. John, you got to go now. John! Go! Oh. God. <laughs> Ooh, that's a slick move. Oh, come on! Oh! Uh, she's not coming. I'm so nervous about everything right now. Oh! With a perfect shot. Call John. I don't think there's anything you can do to her to make her call for John. He sure is winning so far, isn't he? I hate this. Stop. Oh, and he's crawling with one arm just like in the last one, but it's sad this time. He'll come back though, right? 
I'll fix him. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, shoot him right in there. Shoot him right in there. No. No. <gasps> Ooh, I love that. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's one more chip. No. It must be destroyed also. No. I have to go away. No, don't do it. Order you not to go. I order you not to go. I know now why you cry. Oh no. Stop. Goodbye. A Terminator can learn the value of human life. Maybe we can too. All right, shatter my heart into a million pieces. I'm horribly upset that it ended that way. <laughs> Mostly because I'm horribly upset that somehow, within the span of two hours, this movie managed to make me care about a Terminator. I never would have guessed that to be the case. What? <laughs> I'm kind of mind blown. I enjoyed that movie so much. I enjoyed The Terminator, the first one, a lot more than I ever anticipated I would have. And I'm sorry if this upsets anyone. I do like this one even more. It has something. It has something else. And pr it's probably the sentimentality of it. Besides the relationship between Reese and Sarah, we never had any sort of mental relationship building in that movie because for the most part, everyone died, <laughs> which I love. However, I think because I like this one more, it's because I got attached to characters and people and the the Terminator. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. You were all absolutely right. Very much worth watching. I probably won't watch any of the other ones. From the feedback, it didn't sound like I have to or that I should. I'd rather take the series for this and let it be something that I fully enjoy.